Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, finally, we're in our natural habitat again. <laughs> this is where I feel most alive. But only when I do these videos. Because if I'm not filming, then I don't really like spending that much time in the kitchen. Even though I do spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Because it always takes so long. Anyway, I'm just so happy to be back. I can smell stuff again. Not like a hundred percent, but I think my taste is back regardless. Yeah. Mmm. I love basil. I feel like my nose and my taste buds have been given a second life, really. And in that second life, I want them to try out new things, to experience new things. In that sense, I thought it might be a great idea to try out different and potentially weird and crazy pizza toppings. When it comes to pizza, I am really basic. I used to have a favorite pizza, but that involved meat, which I do no longer eat. So now my favorite pizza is just a margarita. Sometimes I just don't want to be this basic bitch. And so in order not to be that basic bitch, I need something new. So that is the story behind this video. I also hesitated making this video though, because the Italian half of my heart will break with some of these combinations is what I would say if I was dramatic as fuck. Eat what you want to eat. I don't care. If you like it, just put it on your pizza. It's not that big of a deal. But again, I'm usually not that crazy when it comes to pizza, but that shall be changed today. So I went onto the interwebs and I found some combinations. Some of them are a bit crazy. Others I'm just intrigued by. So the craziest ones I'll probably save for a part two of this video. I was thinking of making my own pizza dough. Then I remembered I've already made pizza once on this channel. I don't need to do it again. <laughs> so instead I just got some pizza dough. It doesn't say super great. I think it'll get the job done. I've got about six-ish toppings. Let's get started with the first one. Hey! Oh, that almost hit me. Why is that so fucking loud? I'm so happy because Naomi and I once were given these craft mac and cheese and now I have a reason to make it because yes, this topping will be mac and cheese. That might be a common thing for some of you guys. I've never had it. I think it's really crazy because why would you put pasta on your... <gasps> that is also a thing. Some people put spaghetti on their pizza, right? We're gonna go with mac and cheese. I hope it'll be super cheesy. Maybe we'll put some more cheese on top to make it extra cheesy and to potentially die of cheese. I shall just quickly make that. It'll take me about seven to eight minutes. You're just gonna cook the macaroni in here. We drain it, we return to the pan, we add some butter, the milk and the cheese sauce mix and mix well. Well, I'm sure there's some sort of trick that German me doesn't know about how to make Kraft mac and cheese. I mean, obviously it won't look like on the packaging, but mine definitely does not look like on the packaging. So I didn't know the trick. Maybe I'll just try it. It does not look very good. It also makes me wonder if I do really have my taste back. Where's the flavor? <laughs> well, as a kid, I would have liked this. It'll be great on my pizza. I shall preheat the oven, so you will hear the oven from now on. That's just what it is. I am going to cut this into six pieces. I shall transfer the first square. Oh. It's no longer a square. Let's decorate this. Take a bit of mac and cheese. Oh, that didn't go well. This looks good. This has like zero seasoning, so I'm gonna add a bit of salt and pepper. Also, this mac and cheese is definitely not cheesy enough for a pizza. That's why I'm gonna add a bit of grated parm. No, that is mozzarella. This shall go into the oven. Um, so something happened and it's, no, it just, yeah, now it looks like the, yeah, 
I don't know what happened, but good thing is I like my pizza on the darker side anyway. I think it looks like a cake. This is my pizza. It looks marvelous. Unfortunately, it does not look very cheesy, even though it's mac and cheese with cheese on top. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. I think there are people watching me try my macaroni and cheese pizza and judging me as well. That's what a good pizza should sound like. It doesn't really give me life. Yeah, I just really don't care for this. But to be fair, it might also be the mac and cheese that is just unnecessary. Very boring, stale. We can continue with the second topping. It doesn't involve a lot yet too much at least in theory maybe it'll be good and i will eat it every day from now on you never know until you know is what i always say this one i think i found on the heinz website i don't know how it got there all roads they lead me here i imagine you were home and your room all alone uh, yeah, but now we're gonna try ketchup and mustard on top of our pizza. I don't understand why, how. This topping will be really easy to make, so I'm actually hoping it'll be good because then it would be really easy to make pizza. Luckily, I even have Heinz tomato ketchup. I do not have Heinz mustard though. Do they make mustard? We've got Löwenzenf. I'm sorry, I need to correct myself. I did not find this recipe on the Heinz website. I found it on Papa John's website. So essentially, instead of a marinara, you're just gonna put tomato ketchup, oops, as the base. In Germany, it's quite, I feel like almost big of a thing to eat pasta with ketchup. Just for me personally, I don't understand it. And I did not like it when I tried it. You eat what you want to eat. <laughs> We're gonna add a bit of mustard because again, this is very strong. Well, this isn't really pretty. We are gonna add a bit of mozzarella to this. Fun, fun, fun. This also goes into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Guys, our fake margarita is ready and done. It's also on the darker side. It turns out the pizza definitely does not need as long as it says on the packaging. Let's just, you know, go for it. Okay. Yeah, you're too late. I love a margarita. Here we go. Hmm. 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 I think I might like this. I like the mustard. If you don't like mustard, then this is a no for you. You just have like this nice little pizza thingy with a mustardy flavor. And I don't know, I kind of like it. No, I'm never gonna ever add mustard to my pizza again, but I also wouldn't be mad if I somehow happened to stumble while holding some mustard in my hand and then it just randomly, accidentally drops on my pizza before I put it into the oven. Funny, who would have thought? The Italian in me never would have thought that. On that same Papa John's website, I found another really crazy thing. I mean, to me. And I found similar recipe recipes on other websites that suggested a nice English breakfast on top of your pizza. We're not gonna add an entire English breakfast to this just because I feel like English breakfast needs a sausage. <laughs> And to this day, I still haven't found a nice veggie or vegan sausage alternative. I think it would be stupid to even try. But this Papa John's website suggests only baked beans. This one is another really easy one. Maybe nice for breakfast. If you want to wait 15 to 20 minutes for your breakfast to bake in the oven. I really like baked beans. Hence, we're gonna add them to a pizza because I also really like pizza. Like plus like is double like. I feel like you could place an egg in the middle as well. <gasps> no! And now the cheese. And this can go into the oven as well. Oh, this is, oh, oh, uh oh. Here we go, guys. I got it out of the oven earlier than the other ones. Now it's not as dark as the other ones. This looks packed. A lot of topping. This is what we wanted. Marvelous. We're gonna have to bite into it, obviously. Um, or not because it's still very hot. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. I really have to think about this one. Mm. It's not bad. Hmm. I mean, to be 
honest, completely honest, 100% the truth. It just tastes like dipping bread into baked beans, which is good. It's edible. It tastes good, but I will never do that again. So whoever out there told me to eat this, I don't hate you. It's just not that good. I have a feeling that I'm absolutely gonna love the next ones. I feel, oh, I feel it here in my painful chest. I don't want to give you false information. I don't want to communicate wrong facts. But on the internet, I've read a couple of times while researching for this video, like the reporter that I am, I have found this one flavor combination that seems to be very typical. Again, according to the internet, it might be wrong in Sweden. Mm, I think technically it also involves meat, but I also found a vegan version that seemed totally legit to me, non-Swede. In Sweden, apparently, you eat banana on your pizza. Why banana? Banana. Banana. It's a combination of banana, curry powder, red onion, mozzarella cheese, and all of it on top of a base layer of tomato sauce. Are you ready for it. Dum, dum, dum. Look at our banana pizza. Mmm, this smells really good. It looks very interesting. I'm really nervous for this one. Like, why is there banana on my pizza? But maybe I can explain after trying this myself. Oh, I really don't know. I don't know. It's not good. What I mean by that is I really don't know if it's bad. Oh wow, my forehead is starting to hurt from thinking too much. No, this is not very good. I feel like it could have been good with pears or something. Just not bananas. I'm sorry, Sweden. I'm a disappointment, but this is also a disappointment. I'm really excited for this next one because this is similar to a topping that Naomi and I would put on our... Oh, I don't know the English word for this. Flammkuchen. We like it a lot. So I'm sure that I'm gonna like this one, but it's a little bit different as well. This one will be with apples, caramelized onions. I try to caramelize these onions. I'm unsure whether they're burned or caramelized. I think they're low-key burned. And goat's cheese, a bit of thyme on top. And into the oven it goes. Our goat cheese apple pizza car 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 caramelized onion pizza is done. If you ask me, this looks really nice. If you ask me, it also looks kind of dry. I mean, this isn't the prettiest piece, but it'll be the tastiest one. And the hottest one. Mm, I like this. This combination is so good. This works so well. Mm. This is my favorite. Surprisingly enough, everyone that is here right now, which is me, knew that this was gonna be my favorite. And so far, everyone who has said that this was gonna be my favorite was correct. People of the universe, I'm really excited for the last one. Also excited that it's the last one because I'm so full. This last one will be a nice blackberry ricotta one. I thought we should end this on a very, very sweet note. Not it's not very, very sweet. Obviously, there's like chocolate pizza out there and stuff like that, but it is more on the sweeter side because obviously we're gonna add berries. These blackberries will be our base layer. For that reason, we're gonna have to somehow mash them. Wow, what a pretty color, a nice purple. This color is not so pretty anymore, I take it back. Now we just put some ricotta on top somehow. I don't know, kind of not that easy. We're gonna top this with some green onions or spring onions. I took the not so green part for some reason. You can't even see them. <laughs> Sprinkle with salt and pepper. And that's all you gotta do for your last piece of pizza. And there you have it, guys. But it's not done yet. You have to sprinkle some fresh basil on top. Oh, it looks so nice. It looks like a sweet pie. Mmm, it smells good. I mean, it smells like basil. <laughs> a very juicy center. This is what it looks like. Our last taste test.
Damn, I wish I had tried this first because this is really nice. I really want to eat more of this, but I physically can't. I can't even tell you what it tastes like and it's really hard to describe. I don't know why I like it. It doesn't taste like the blackberry much. Not too much like ricotta. It's just like this moussey situation, but also not too moussey. The mozzarella adds a little bit of savory saltiness, which is also very welcome for some reason. I think the onions carry a lot lot of the flavor. Mm. Please try this and tell me if I'm wrong. I think I should be wrong. But how can it be wrong when it feels so right? Peace and quiet, because we have finally reached the end of our pizza taste journey. But it doesn't have to be the end, we can do this all again. And if I am to do another one of these videos, you guys can tell me some nice flavor combinations for pizza in the comments down below as well, if you want me to check those out. We didn't really have fails, we had a lot of unnecessary stuff and then the banana stuff. I really, really like the blackberry one and of course the goat cheese one. It is very hot in here, it is very hot in in here I think what I mean by that is that I'm really full and therefore I really need to end this and just lay down but before that there's one thing left for me to say <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video y entonces nos vemos la próxima vez y bye